Crappie's the best fish, I'm saying it right now. What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. As you can see, KG's got four fishing poles, and uh, that probably means we're going fishing. Also, in the back of that, you'll see that we have the, uh, what's it called? The boat. The bathtub, pretty much. Show them what we're working with, Ethan. We're going serious out here today. We're going for a crappie catch, clean, cook. Now, if y'all remember, which it wasn't really that long ago, we did another crappie catch and cook, but it wasn't exactly successful because we didn't catch enough crappie. So what we're going to do is we kept the crappie from then, and now we're going back today to actually catch enough crappie. Honestly, it's pretty simple. That's pretty much all we're doing. Going to catch some fish. Going to catch some fish. And eat them whole. Yeah, let's get going. Abram's coming, too. Abram's late. Yeah, he is. All right, guys, we're here. One, two, three, four, five. Ethan and Abrams heading in the boat. This is going to be interesting. I'll set up the motor, unless you want to be an electrical engineer. It's a little bit windy, but you'll be all right. Are you going to call out our numbers like a bass tournament? One. Hey. Boat number one, take off now. Oh, plane. <laughs> you already caught one? I said we're on plane. I'll be Chet Daniels, the news reporter that documents the catastrophe when y'all drown. All right. I'll sell that to CNN. That's good footage. All right, now I need the battery. Oh, here you go. It's heavy, dude. Big sad. Ass on chip. Who want to drive a boat? You want to drive a boat? Ethan does. I'm captain. I I'm everybody's favorite captain. <laughs> Abram, now may or may not be a good time to tell you. There's a reason I ain't going on the boat with Ethan. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, Abram, you're going to be sitting right here. Ethan can be sitting right here. And, um... All right, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down and somebody hand me a camera and the stuff and Oh you ain't getting no camera. Why not? <laughs> you, you ain't getting no camera. <laughs> if you got something, you pull out your iPhone. My iPhone's in the truck. I ain't bringing it on. Do you yeah, have your phone, Abram? Huh? You have your phone? Yeah. Alright, Abram. Have fun. Here we go. Alright, you boys ready? So like if they drowned, am I liable? Alright, boys. Here's yours, Abram. Do you know how to use a fishing pole? <laughs> There it is. All right, here's Ethan's. All right, well, there's your fishing poles. All right, there's two ways they can fish here, and I'm actually going to be fishing the same exact way, just from the bank. Y'all can either just pull them off and cast them real back, or y'all can both just cast out separate sides and then have Ethan drive you with the boat and almost troll. You'll, like, just troll literally right in the middle, and that's where they are. All right, you boys good? No, i got to fix this. All right, well, bye. As for me, we're going to be going ahead and getting into some fishing. I ain't going nowhere. Boys, what's the problem here? The wind. <laughs> they ain't even got off the bank yet. Are you doing forward or backward? I'm in reverse now. All right, now reverse, get yourselves out there, and then it's just like an actual boat, okay? All right, they're off. Sweet. Now I can tell you what I was going to say. Anyways, while they're out there, they'll find out in a minute there's a hole in the boat. They're still only like five feet away. Meanwhile, boat number one's way over there. They've already caught like three fish already. By the way, we need ten fish to have enough to do a fish fry. And that's counting the ones that we've done last time. Anyways, I'm just going to use the same exact bait. It's that little one right there, little crawdad. This should be really cool, and right here at the end, we're actually gonna be cooking them up and it's crappie so they should be taste really good but as for now let's turn you guys on to the gopro all right guys here we go abram and them they're out there both boats are out there i'm just gonna walk this edge right here and even though the wind is against me pretty tough i'll figure it out i can do it i've did it before i can do it again maybe yeah we're in good shape i'll catch fish in no time fishing should be easy today boys if anyone wants waters or gatorade let me know i got it yeah have you figured out how to use the motor you can go forward and it's a whole lot faster Uh oh, KG's got a fish hooked up, boys. KG's got a fish, but it sure ain't no crappy. Boys, I'll tell you right now, Ethan and Abram straight scooting across the pond. All right, we're pirates now. We need to play the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song or something. Well, we was trying to be pirates, and uh, Abram just hooked up on this fish right here. It's a pretty good sized bluegill. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with it. Probably going to throw it at the other boat, but yeah, good catch, Abram. Thank you. And KG's over there. Hey, do we want to keep this? Is it back? No. no. What is it? It's a bluegill. No, throw it back. Yeet him in. Oh, well, oh. there we go. Try to be pirates a little more. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Look at her. Man out there is trying to hit us, so we're escaping. Oh, oh yeah, he said. Ah, oh, he came off. See, he ain't cool enough to be pirates. So he's fishing from the bank. So we're gonna go over here by this dock and steal this other boat. Yeah, we'll catch up you guys later, I guess. The neighbor one called him a bass back there. Oh uh, heck yeah! Over here in this little corner, getting there, I guess. Little bass, I guess. Caught him over here on a beetle spin, but I'm throwing him back in. 
Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of them. You wanna grab the camera? You wanna get the camera? There's a duck right here, boys. Hey, look there. Look at them ducks. Hey, they're gone. All right, boys, as for me, I'm going to let them do the crappie fishing. I'm actually going to do a little bit of bass fishing right here. And we're going to be using what we got out of this month's mystery tackle box. So let's go back in time, back to the house, where we actually opened up and showed y'all what we was using. All right, we're back at the house right now. We're going to check out the mystery tackle box. Because even though we are crappie fishing, I'm going to be using the mystery tackle box to get some bass. Because I know they're in there. But yeah, let's check it out. Whatever's in this box is what I have to use. Let's check it out. Oh, dude, it's game over. It's game over. I'm catching any, I'm catching any bass I want to. First thing, got some hooks. Those are nice. Then a big old crankbait, which might be nice because there's some really small bass in there. And if I ever want to target the big ones, I can use that. Then we got some little Senkos. Like, honestly, it's game over. A giant swim bait. Some more little swim baits. Practically a giant beetle spin, which is what we're using for crappie, but a whole lot bigger. And then those worms right there. Honestly, since I'm going to pick one out, I think I'm going to go with... I'm just going to go right here, right here. Boom. Weightless Texas Rig Cinco. Honestly, though, one of the best baits ever made. Boom. That right there, weedless, ain't gonna get caught up in weeds and sticks. I know there's big fish in this pond. There's at least one seven pound bass in there. Anyways, let's go ahead and get fishing. All right, this right here, this ain't gonna take long to catch a few bass. Will not take long at all. Then I actually do need to catch a few bass, then get back to actually trying to catch some crop. Cause we gotta get about 10 before we can actually do the fish fry. But I don't think we're gonna have a problem catching bass. Right if you are interested in a mystery tackle box of your own, they're a box full of baits. It comes to your door every single month, full of bass fishing baits, or you can even pick a few different other species. If you use the link down in my description and use promo code GREYGANG, all caps, you can get your first box as low as $10. So if you're interested in one, use that promo code, check it out, and see if you like it. Ugh. But as for now, we're just gonna keep on fishing out here. We're going to see what we can do. He's got it, he's got it. Oh, oh, got him, yep. Oh, man, I had it. I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but I yanked him out of the water. He just wasn't heavy enough to get this hook set in it. There, there he is. Oh, my goodness. I literally jerked him just from the hook set up to the bank. Oh, and my hook came out. I didn't even get the hook set because they're not giving me enough resistance to actually get the hook in them. Yeah, little bass. He's not huge, but bass is bass. Okay. Yo, I just hooked up on a bass. And this is actually a pretty good bass. Probably one of the better ones in the pond. Um, I know I didn't get the hook set or anything, but I was actually just watching the videos on the GoPro. But yeah, I right, got a fish. Yeah, yeah, boy. His name's Jamal. He cool guy. We're in a scrunch for fish, so we're, we're, we're riding three deep in this boy. We're going to be trolling, so at least we don't got to be casting a ton. What are your thoughts on today's performance? Uh, Mr. Jerry down there, he's just, you know, chill. Yeah. And then Bob is somewhere down there. I've not had contact with Ethan and Abram, but I'm going to make a very educated guess and say they probably don't have anything. That's a pretty good guess. Crow won't shut up. They did catch a bass, though. If we catch a crappie, we'll get back with you. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. <laughs> That's the one we've been needing. Still kind of thin, but that's like the point why we're getting them out of here is because they are so thin. He's a big one. Oh, that's, that's a, a Boone Crockett. That's a 13 inch. Yeah. You trying to tell me you were 13? You know that the size. <laughs> Looks like about seven. <laughs> I wear a 10. That's a good one compared to O'Jerry. How'd you keep him? Give, it, give us a little uh, analysis here. It's a little windy, but I don't know. Huh? You just threw it out and they bit it and then you reeled him in. That's why. Short story, it's all we need, son. We only got to do that seven more times. We got pirates. All right, so what you need? I literally, over by cigarette butt, I found that little white thing. Cause like one ripped me off, you know? I have no idea what you're saying. Okay, this right here. Yeah. The one you give me, the fish ripped it off. Uh huh. And I Trail. found this by cigarette butt and put it on there. So I need a new one. <laughs> okay. So you're coming in here? Yeah. Is somebody going over in this one? Nope. Where are you going to sit at? I'm just getting in. Hey, you can spread your chairs farther apart. All right, boys, here we go. Possibly a risky maneuver, but we technically have two boats right now. All right, boys, no, this is one boat, son. You want this chair? Nah. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you okay. Need this chair. Oh, okay. Oh, right, that was <laughs> we're making one big boat. One. Oh, we're scooting now. <laughs> wow, planes, huh? We could have the ultimate trolling rig right here. Alright, separate. We're racing. <laughs> 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 
Y'all are, the, we're winning, y'all are on anti-plane. <laughs> we got farther than the water. <laughs> are we on anti-plane too? <laughs> you guys are so far in the water. All right, let's take us back to home base. I want to do a donut in this boat. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> There's three people. Let's not do that right now. <laughs> take us to home base, Ethan. All right. Okay, we're good. This is the first time dismounting. Oh, <laughs> we're on plane now. All right, so just keep it right there. All right, uh, I think we had a little situation, but I'm gonna let Abram explain it. I uh, caught a big one. So, it was the boat. Abram caught the boat. <laughs> Abram, oh my gosh, we have a beetle spin inside <laughs> of the trolling motor. Now that's a tough one right there, boy. Did it break the blade? Uh, no, I don't know. I couldn't actually tell you. Oh, bet, baby. There's the beetle spin. Ain't much of it left. That's better than a... I don't know what that's better than. Not much. Better <laughs> than flipping. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to skin them up right now. Final catch, we got seven, but we're going to count them as two. Or should we count these as a half? If you don't know what a crappie looks like, that's what a crappie looks like. And that's what a man with an electric knife and ready to use it looks like. That's what my grandma used to cut hands. Boom. Oh yeah. Crappy fish fry. Nice. Right, so come and tell us what's happening. Come on over here. You're gonna be the man. He's the one who cooked them. Kind of. Co-ownership of rights of cooking. Yeah, so this is a hush puppy. <laughs> really? Oh, break it open. <laughs> It looks pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Some of these are cooked with... This is the thing right here. A mustard base. We have three different kinds of crappie. That's probably mm -hmm. mustard because it's base. definitely yellow. Which one's this, though? Sprite. We have one dipped in Sprite. And then I haven't cooked mine, though. The cornmeal. Oh. But You want to try those? Or are they too hot? I've already tried. I'm going to let you guys decide which one's best. Oh, snap. That's a lot of responsibility, dude. That is the mustard. Do you like mustard to begin with, though? Sprite. No, that's mustard. Absolutely. What do you think? I'm going to try this one. What is this? Sprite? That looks like Sprite. This one's Sprite, and it is indeed too hot to tell. Crappie's the best fish. I'm saying it right now. Prove me wrong, but this tastes just like dry land fish. What? Is the mustard good? It's different, isn't it? I thought it was different. But it's not bad. No, it's good. Is this one mustard? That's mustard. It's definitely got, like, the Sprite one I really good. Never been a huge fan of mustard. Right, how puppy? It was really good. Thanks for watching this crappie catch and cook, but if you want to watch an exclusive video that has never been seen before, you can go down, click the first link in the description, fill out this page by putting your email and submit it. Then I'm going to email you an exclusive KG vlog that can't be found anywhere else. Now, if you've done this on the last video, you don't have to worry about it again. It's the same video. But for those of you who haven't signed up for it, you don't want to miss out on it. It's a pretty awesome vlog. And it's free. And let me just say this. There's not going to be many people get to watch it, so don't miss out. And there may or may not be a special promo code in that video. Too. Thanks for watching guys. Click right over here if you want to watch all my catch and cooks or right over here for one of my catfishing catch and cooks Which tasted really good or maybe it didn't you have to watch and find out